A new lifestyle. Cancer doesn't just change your health, it changes your entire way of living. Once the diagnosis is given and the treatments begin, it quickly becomes clear that the life you led before will never fully return. Every aspect of daily routine is reshaped by the need for medical care, physical recovery, and perhaps most profoundly, a mental shift in how you approach life. My journey through cancer brought me face to face with the reality that living the same way as before was no longer an option. I had to adopt a new lifestyle, one that prioritized health, well-being, and mindfulness in ways I had never before considered. Before cancer, I had a relatively fast-paced life, filled with responsibilities, plans, and goals that left little room for rest or reflection. I took my body for granted, assuming it would always be able to keep up with the demands I placed on it. I didn't give much thought to things like nutrition, exercise, or stress management. My focus was always on what needed to be done, how to get there as quickly as possible and what the next goal would be. Cancer, however, forced me to slow down and rethink everything. The first major change came in how I approached my physical health. Suddenly, food wasn't just fuel, it was medicine. I learned that what I put into my body could either support or hinder my recovery. I became much more conscious of the types of foods I was eating, making sure to include more fruits vegetables, and whole foods that would strengthen my immune system and aid in my healing. Processed foods, sugar, and anything that might cause inflammation became the enemies, while nutritious meals became a form of self-care. In many ways, this change was empowering. While I couldn't control the cancer, I could control what I ate and how I nourished my body, and that gave me a sense of urgency. Exercise, too took on a new meaning. It wasn't about hitting fitness goals or pushing myself to extremes anymore. Instead, it became about maintaining strength, flexibility, and mobility, especially during treatment. At first, even simple movements felt difficult, and I had to learn to listen to my body in ways I hadn't before. Instead of pushing through fatigue, I began to recognize the importance of rest and recovery. Physical activity became a balancing act, enough to keep my body strong, but not so much that it would drain the limited energy I had. Gentle exercises like walking, stretching, and yoga-like movements became a regular part of my routine, offering not just physical benefits, but also mental clarity and emotional release. But perhaps the biggest shift in my new lifestyle was in my mindset. Cancer taught me the value of mindfulness, of being fully present in each moment. Before, I was always thinking ahead about work, family, and the future. My mind was rarely in the present, always occupied with what was next. But cancer has a way of stopping time. The only moment that mattered was the one I was in, because the future felt too uncertain to plan for. I started practicing mindfulness as a way to cope with the stress and anxiety that came with treatment. It wasn't always easy, but learning to focus on the here and now helped me find peace in the midst of the storm. Mindfulness also helped me become more attuned to my emotional health. I could no longer afford to ignore stress, frustration, or sadness. Cancer had a way of bringing all those emotions to the surface and I had to learn to face them head-on. Part of my new lifestyle was about recognizing the importance of mental health, seeking support when I needed it, and finding ways to express my emotions in healthy ways. Sometimes that meant talking to loved ones, other times it meant journaling, meditating, or simply allowing myself to feel whatever was present without judgment. Another significant change was in my relationship with time. Before cancer, I was always rushing. Rushing to meet deadlines, rushing through daily tasks, rushing towards the next achievement. Cancer forced me to slow down. I began to realize that life isn't just about what we accomplish. It's about how we live in the moments between those accomplishments. 
I stopped measuring my days by how much I got done and started measuring them by how present I was. Spending time with loved ones, enjoying simple pleasures, and taking care of my health became my new priorities. This new lifestyle wasn't just about the physical and mental changes though. It was also about cultivating gratitude. When you face something as life-altering as cancer, it's easy to focus on what's been lost, your health, your sense of normalcy, your plans for the future. But I discovered that focusing on what remained and what I still had control over was key to finding peace. Gratitude became a cornerstone of my new life. I learned to appreciate the little things. A good day, a pain-free moment, the support of friends and family. These were things I had often overlooked before, but now they became sources of strength and comfort. This new lifestyle is not something I would have chosen, but it's one that has brought unexpected gifts. It's taught me the importance of balance, of giving my body the care it needs, my mind the rest it deserves, and my spirit the space to breathe. It's a lifestyle built on acceptance, accepting that some things are out of my control, but that there is still so much I can do to live well. It's a lifestyle grounded in gratitude, mindfulness, and self-compassion, one that has allowed me to navigate this journey with a greater sense of purpose and peace. Living with cancer isn't easy, and the changes it brings are often painful and challenging. But the new lifestyle I've adopted has helped me not only survive, but also thrive in ways I hadn't imagined. It's a way of living that I will carry with me long after this chapter ends, a life that is more intentional, more present, and more grateful for each moment. The background music is from Serene Music, Superb Nature. You can find it at my YouTube channel. My name is Weeping Kai. Thanks for watching.